All right. Um, hey, everybody. Welcome to Flash Fried. We have to watch the Star Wars trailer because Scotty's making us. I don't want to watch this trailer. Why not? I don't want to watch this Can trailer. We just take a minute? Can I just take a minute to just uh, marvel once again at how poorly this IP was handled? Oh, my God. Dude. Um, so here's the thing. And it's just insane to me that something that's this expensive would be handled in this way. Uh-huh. So J.J. Abrams made the first movie. And not only did he make the first movie, he had outlines for what the entire trilogy was going to be, right? So there was a vision. Like a cohesive right. structure yes. to get us right. from one place to the next. Correct. Yeah, the, he had the whole trilogy mapped out. So kind of like Ryan, Lucas did at the right. beginning as well. Exactly. For, for the prequels as well. Right. Yeah, they knew where they were going. Ryan with. Johnson comes in to direct uh, The Last Jedi. He totally throws all that out and just makes his own thing. And... How do you, like, with a multi-billion dollar franchise, how do you let just one dude come in and just say, nope, I'm in charge of Star Wars now. Uh, fuck this vision that you guys have going. I'm going to change it up all, all up. Ray's parents are nobody. Luke Skywalker tosses the lightsaber over his, his fucking back. And he's like, eh, I don't want to be a Jedi. Fuck this. Let him have total leeway. And now you have to bring back J.J. Abrams to try to, like, salvage uh, his vision i yeah. think i think what the studio it's ridiculous thought, i think what they thought was is that, that they let him reinvent the wheel people were just gonna be like brilliant he's taking star wars in a new direction instead it was like Bleh, what what the fuck is this yeah uh you know I, I i have to admire on some level the audacity of it but i just i hate that movie i don't think it works on even I don't think any of them. No, I don't. I don't think any of the movies outside of the original trilogy have worked. Yeah, As, I do have high hopes for that Mandalorian show, though, because maybe just because it takes a different. Totally I mean, different it had angle. a slick ass fucking trailer. I'll give it. It that. definitely did. But we'll see. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much fucking hope I have for. It. I really hate these movies, and I, I was I was talking to you guys before we uh, started this shit about how I've seen every one of these Star Wars movies. I, I was too young to see the original trilogy sure. in the fucking theaters, but right. all of the prequels I've gone, you know, while it was released, yeah, or the re -releases. On release night. Yeah, I went and saw all the re-releases. Same. I went and uh, I've I've seen all of these fucking subsequent uh, sequels in the theaters, and this one I'm really tempted to just wait it out and see it when it comes out on VOD somewhere. Yeah, like I just don't even feel like going and doing the theater experience for this one. I'm so disheartened. By well, what maybe, I've seen. Maybe, Paul, maybe this trailer will change well, let's take a your look. mind. Let's take a look. I doubt it, but let's look. Get those feelings. It's an instinct. Yeah, my instinct is this is going to suck. <laughs> You're right. There's an instinct involved in this, and just from the first few frames of this, I already hate it. Come on, Paul, give it a chance. I got Why an instinct. It, Paul? What's wrong with the What's wrong with those frames? Uh, it has Ray in it. <laughs> okay, a character you know which what? has never been established to be anything other than a so big fat Mary Sue. This is a, a sexist thing. Is basically it is. what you're saying. GJ, let's, no. let's play more. Let's play more. This is a I. This is a. They gave me a, a literal vanilla wafer of a character to deal with here. <laughs> I have to agree I, with that. I cannot believe you guys are saying this. Feeling. The force brought you together. And then there's this dude. Um, Another vanilla. Oh, well, I'm sorry. A chocolate wafer. <laughs> a chocolate wafer. Yeah. Hey, it's chocolate A little better wafer. than a vanilla wafer, at least. Mm. Yeah. Slightly. We're not alone. Good people Just don't like wafers. If we lead them. It's Poe. Oh, God, people man. telling me they know me. Just big CG spectacle shots. Yeah. Yay, more CG bullshit. Yay, no more character development. Yay, the, same bland yeah. dynamic between the characters. Yay. Does Daisy Ridley think this is acting? Because it's like, it seems to be her lot of her acting is this. No, I don't know if that's her fault or just this script's fault that has never given this character anything meaty to bite into at all. It's the screenwriter's fault. It's just a fucking bland. It, it's, it's like a... It's like a fucking fanfic that's trying to make a Luke Skywalker character but doesn't flesh it out with any fucking desire or humanity or believable backstory or relatable fucking character qualities. It's just a big jar of fucking mayonnaise, dude. What am I supposed to do with it? How am I supposed to, as a fucking fan, 
of this universe, how am I supposed to get into this? Shut up. Where's and eat my it. entry point into this fucking bland bullshit? It's Star Wars, Paul. Eat it your sucks. Star Wars gruel. <laughs> Eat your that Star sucks, Wars gruel man. and you'll like it. Patented Disney Star Cause you, Wars Because you want to know why? You want to know why, Paul? It doesn't fucking matter. Because you know what? They know your ass is going to be going, this sucks. But you know what a bunch of little kids are going to be doing? I love it. Why, do they, why does every generation need their Star Wars? Why can't they get their whatever else? Why can't? Like, I why does? Know. Why this? Because we're lazy and we're out of ideas. And this is just no easier. One does. They're gonna fight Ter again. Terrible villain. They're gonna fight again, y'all. God, we have a connection. We will fight. That shot is just so bad. Go <sighs> Can we go back to it? Yeah, go back to that fucking reveal shot on Kylo Ren. It's just so All bad. Right. It doesn't even look badass. Yeah, doesn't just like he, he looks like he's kind of just trudging. You know like, what I mean? And it looks like he's having to hold his breath because they're dumping so much water in his face. Yeah, he's like, oh god, this fucking. <laughs> I can't work under these conditions. I mean, it's just like it's got it's got no style to it. He's never landed as a villain. Dude, when, in the beginning of the first Star Wars movie, Darth Vader comes in. And it's like, burr, 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 and like he ha immediately has a presence, a commanding presence on the screen. Kylo Ren's just like this dork, like some loser's cosplaying. And lightning like shows bolt. Up. Lightning bolt. That's what he feels like. <laughs> That's what Adam Driver's Kylo Ren feels like. I feel like that some dork wandered onto the set. And they're like, yeah, use him. It just sucks. Long have I waited. No, oh, it's like something out of Game of Thrones. And now, da, 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 da. the Night King coming back. Coming together. Oh, Chewbacca, why? Oh, Is your undoing? Oh, my Dude, God. can I say something? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. So, why have they dumbed down these lightsaber fights? Because I'll tell you what. If there's one thing that the prequels did, I think that was good in looking at them up against the original trilogy is that it took the lightsaber fights and made them way more acrobatic and dynamic and, and stuff. Right. I really think that that uh, lightsaber fight between uh, Darth Maul and uh, Obi-Wan and, Obi and yeah, Qui-Gon, Qui I, I really do think that that's a good you know, I don't know. That's, it's, that's, that's, in a vacuum. Yeah, I, that's I one of the cool. highlights of the movie. I Look, agree with you. I like it. All right. But... I feel like the prequels kind of lost some of the visceral, violent nature of a fucking lightsaber duel by making it a little bit too much like a choreographed fucking ballet. I mean, didn't it earn a little bit back with the, the best scene in the f third of yeah, the prequels? I will admit the lightsaber battle. Getting, getting, that final was, lightsaber was, battle between... It was cool. I, think, I have I think, ground. I think they struck the right balance there. So, once again, like that's one of the things that worked, and it seems like we've taken a step back, and now the background is what we're supposed to be focusing on. Not the actual swords clashing. Like, if you go back just a little bit and watch yeah. about that waterfall. Yeah, because, I mean, my tell eyes... Tell me what that shot is about. My eyes were drawn to that big wave behind me. Right. I mean, look... Like, it's like, oh, what a cool setting. But are they going to... I mean, I don't know. It, it depends on if they actually do anything with that setting. It just seems yeah. like it's a step backwards in something that the series actually progressed on, which was making these lightsaber duels more dynamic and cool, incorporating more use of the Force into them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is your undoing. It's all just a CG spectacle shot. I mean, also, there has to be a tacit acknowledgement with this film that Kylo Ren is a failed villain. Because if you have to go bring the Emperor back to try to salvage having some sort of actual shadow well, I'm villain, sure, look. Because they killed Snoke! They built Snoke up, movie one, look, Snoke's but built up. think about what I just... Yeah, no, but, but yeah. I'm saying this. They built Snoke up right. in The Force Awakens. The last Jedi, unceremoniously killed. Then it's like, who's the villain in the third one? Well, hold on, though. I mean, like I said at the beginning of this, though, J.J. Abrams had a fucking plan for all the shit he introduced in the first movie. Now, maybe it wasn't a good plan, but it was a coherent vision, I'm sure. But they kill Ryan Johnson. Just like I kill him, Snoke. I don't care about him. Well, that's what I'm so, saying. That's why it was a massive obviously, wonder on Disney's part. Obviously, J.J. Abrams is probably fucking like fuck. They killed Snoke. What am I gonna do? Oh, okay, I'll have the contrivance that the Emperor survived. And I get that to kind of like it's this. I mean, and it's I like, can see it from that perspective. But why are you salvaging a Star Wars movie? That's the problem here. I mean, what choice do they even have? I know. I, I look, look. I I agree to that. I agree. There's no choice. They painted themselves they put, into a fucking corner. But they corner. put themselves in that position Absolutely. by not having a fucking someone that coordinating all this shit. 
with all the Marvel movies, they had they, they yeah. Had there's a mastermind. Job, they know? had someone whose job it was just to focus on continuity. Well, the, the they had problem... people who they they, had, they were they're discussing everything. Yeah. They're planning everything, and there was no plan for Star Wars. And this goes back five or six years when Disney bought the property. The problem is that uh, it's like Kathleen Kennedy is supposed to be the fucking one with the plan, and she didn't. She just fucking acquiesced to isn't Ryan she, Johnson. Isn't she dead now? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I'm thinking of, maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Maybe I don't. I didn't hear about it if she did. But anyway, uh, I don't want to fucking give J.J. Abrams a pass because yeah, his Force original Awakens. Force Awakens entry. I think the reason they went with a different vision was because it was so fucking the same as vanilla. Vanilla. It was the same. It I was mean, a like, cup it was of a retelling milk. It was a, just a retelling of fucking. And so maybe they wanted hope. to try and jazz it up a little bit, and they di they didn't succeed in jazzing it up. They just succeeded in muddying the waters of it and making it more fucking confusing and less cohesive as a story. And now they're just kind of desperately going back to J.J. Abrams. But I don't have any trust. I, I think a good director with a radical vision could save this fucking trilogy. I, with at maybe. least a great third movie. I don't think this is it, though. I'm not seeing any of the building blocks of that here. All right, so uh, let's, let's watch. Yeah, let's finish let's it keep out. watching. There's still much more trailer left to go. What, uh, what are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. Um, why, would, why would you be their friends? Yeah, like, how, when was he their friends? When did you well, establish barely any, even... <laughs> any kind of fucking emotional connection with any of those people? All of your friends at? are already dead. Yeah, they're all dead. All the people that you actually had a backstory with and, and built up a believable fucking relationship with are fucking dead. <laughs> Absolutely. <sighs> Taking one last look at my friends. The fuck, man? Just keep going. Just, just, let's just get it done. Okay. So. Uh, this Christmas, prepare for the ultimate Consulting disappointment. Fear. It's the destiny of a Jedi. <laughs> Your destiny. The saga will end. How about space horses, dude? Horses? Gets, get, here's the fucking sick thing about this. This trailer, even though I don't like anything I see in it, hits emotional triggers in me because of the music and the presentation and the font. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers, man! <laughs> Dude, Disney, <laughs> it's because you have such nostalgia... For the original trilogy, that it's hard. It's not just nostalgia, dude. I'm a fucking... I have reverie, like a, a sense of reverence for those movies. Like, oh, I just Hold on, I want to figure out what's going on here. What are they smashing there? They're just... I don't know. They're working together to smash yeah, but, something. Yeah, well, I'm saying, but when you were young and dumb, this shit got hooked into your fucking brain. Yeah, I'm sure there's reverence and love for it. I'm saying, that's the nostalgia come out. That's like remembering... The good memories of sitting down and watching these the original movies over and over and over again. Which you, I mean, I think all of us did. This is, I, oh yeah, terrible. I mean, when they re released them, like me and TJ were at the theaters. I mean, like I'm sure you were too. You're like, oh, I gotta see, I gotta see, I gotta see, and you, just, and you just loved it and ate it up. And then it's like, oh, we're gonna make the we're gonna make the prequels, and everyone was so excited. And then Star Wars just kind of became this negative thing for a while, and then this felt like. It, it, maybe it's going to be something good again. Disney's in charge of it. They've done this shit with Marvel. They're going to fucking be the savior that Lucas fucking crashed and burned. But now we're going to have something beautiful again. And now we're just at the same spot we were before. <laughs> it just feels like a cheap fucking play, dude. And you know what? As much as you talk, I guarantee your ass is going to be in the theaters. Maybe we'll be there opening week, Paul, but they're going to be able to hook you back in. Come Man, on, Paul. Come back in. I just in. don't want to do it this time. The force is strong with us, Paul. Your money need to be spent here. Sucks, man. You're powerless, dude. You're powerless. You're caught. You're caught in a fucking machine. You can't stop, dude. Oh, no fucking choice but to just eat the sponge cake <laughs> That's in front what I'm of saying. me. Eat the goo, Paul. Eat the fucking <laughs> unsweetened sponge cake ahead of you. Just eat it out. I uh, all right. I put all my hopes into Dune. For, oh yeah, Dune, Dune is gonna be fucking awesome. I actually, I actually just went to the bookstore and bought uh, Dune. How how sad would you be, Paul, if the trailer came out and it didn't look good? What Dune? Yeah. 
everything that they've released, like all the conceptual art is good, and it the, looks really the few positive. shots that they've released and the few little teaser things they've released all look good. If I was a but betting man... But if it looks man, like dog shit, I'll call it dog shit. <laughs> if I was a betting man, I guarantee you there'll be a Dune trailer, at least a teaser But I'm telling you, dude, movie. Denis Villeneuve is doing this Dune thing. You, and you mispronounced that. You butchered the name. <laughs> no, no, no. I got it right this time. The first time I called him Dennis Villanueva. He's <laughs> Villanueva. Paul? Oh. Uh, no, but French. Villanueva. Man. Dude, he, <laughs> Villanova. he brought, he was able, look what he was able to do with fucking Blade Runner 2049. That's, yeah. a, that's a beautiful film right there. Become a patron, and I'll pull my dick out live on a show. I'm, sh- I'm shit you not. Asterisk. Paul may not actually pull out his dick, but <laughs> he'll think about it. I will heavily consider pulling out uh, Big Jim and the Twins, as I as I call him. Wow! And we will do it finally. Our, and look, I'll add this in too. Me and TJ will do everything in our power to convince Paul to fulfill his promise. Right. That he in fact has not promised anything, but it said potentially will promise to pull his. dick I out. said I'd think about it. Well, he'll think about it. Paul will think about pulling his dick out. But you know what? Even while I'm thinking about that, even while I'm deliberating about that, if you become a patron, you still get a bunch of shit. You get an extra show every week. You get the full, unabridged, flash fried. You get movie commentaries, one of which we're about to film right now. Right this minute. You get behind-the-scenes stuff. You get hideologies just for you. So I've been you, doing a lot of... Yeah, did you just do a stream. four-hour stream? Yeah, I did a four-hour drunk TJ's stream been last night. streaming drunk off his ass on two bottles of wine. Yeah. I've been, you get a whole smorgasbord I've, of stuff while I decide whether or not... Yeah. I'm going to pull out the Palooza. Or the Magnum. Yeah. The Magnum Breaker. That's what, that's what <laughs> the they called me. The Magnum Breaker. That's dude. what they called me back in high school. Wow. Paul Damn. the Magnum Breaker Parky was my... Uh, if you want to see Paul's enormous tree oh, trunk of a Enormous path. doesn't even begin yeah. to fucking... You got you to gotta understand. It's, a, it's comically huge. Become a patron, you bastards. You know you want to.